Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Myself Fitness Anand. In this video, we are going to see about the earth switch and how they are used in your substations. Normally, the earth switch is used in your substation to ground the residual charge in your power line after disconnecting the line from the source. When a circuit is broken or opened by the circuit breaker and the isolator, there is a residual charge remaining in the circuit. So, in order to discharge the charge, the earthing switch is used. So, in normal condition, the earth switch will be in the open. Whenever uh, we need a shutdown or uh, whenever we are isolating a particular portion from the circuits, uh, in order to maintain a safety process, we are using the earth switch. So, this earth switch may be separated into two types. One is your uh, system connecting earth switch another one is your local or a manual earth switch we are earthing which we are carried out in a substation as a safety process so the earth switch is mainly useful for a shutdown of a line or a particular area in uh, in order to open and uh, it is a safety process of working to avoid unnecessary uh, accident due to the live portions Next, coming up to the portion sequence of earth switch. Normally, in substation, we need to carry a following sequence for opening and closing of your earth switch. For closing the earth switch, first we need to open the circuit breaker, then we need to open the isolator, and at last we need to close the earth switch. Then for opening, same, first we need to open the earth switch, after that only we need to close the isolator, then at last we need to close the breakers. So this is the sequence of operation. In between the sequence of operation, there will be interlocks presented because if any mall operation or anything happened uh, due to the operator or uh, any remote section areas, uh, in order to avoid this mall operation, this uh, interlocks are presented. This interlocks uh, in the sense, if we need to open the earth switch means, we need to ensure that the isolator and breakers are been already opened and earth switch is in a closed condition then for in same case like if we need to close the earth switch means first the isolator and breaker status should be in a open condition in our hmi or the bcus and then only we can be able to close the earth switch next parts of the earth switch normally the earth switch comprises of main parts like uh, male or a moving contacts then female or a fixed contacts then the connecting shafts which for which is used for your operation then for a rotating mechanisms or the operating mechanism for your electrical operations then operating rod which means the male contact where the uh, it is fixed with the rods and this uh, earth switch is uh, having a certain rating capacities of uh, withstanding current and short circuit with standing currents yeah. and also the uh, according to the voltage level or uh, voltage rating the set switch have been provided this is the symbol of air switch in your SLD so this is the example of open uh, which means normally whenever the air switch is opened the this is the sequence it is separated from your system Then normally if the earth switch is in closer condition, this is the sequence. Uh, in here, uh, whenever the earth switch is closed, automatically the isolator need to be opened. Just we will see one example of how to close and open a sequence of earth switch. First, for closing the earth switch, we need to open the breaker first, which is given as a capital A. Then we need to open the isolators. In here, the isolator in the sense uh, B, C, D, E, these all are isolators. So, these all must be opened. First, we need to open the B, then C, then D, then E. We need to open these four isolators. After getting this status, only the earth switch will be further closed in order to take the shutdown of your transformer. So, first we need to close the uh, 
exists near to your transformers so we are going to close the f g then only the line at switch h will be closed so this is how the closing sequence will be happened in your station next we will see about the opening sequence now the transformer activity has been completed so we are going to restore the system for that we need to open the uh, earth switch first which means very near to the transformer area we need to open the earth switch uh, here the earth switch in the sense a and b need to be opened first then only line earth switch c will open then after that closing sequence now uh, earth switch is opened so we are going to charge the line so we need to carry the closing sequence of your isolator and uh, uh, breakers so we are going to close the isolators first in here isolator in the sense uh, the bus isolators and the line isolators bay isolators all the three need to be closed uh, the e f and d g this all need to be closed first we need to close the d then we need to close the bus isolators which means bus connected isolators e and f then at last we are going to close the line isolator g after ensuring that the local earthing is been removed and the isolators are been closed and then further uh, for energization of this line h which means the circuit breaker get closed so this is the way of uh, closing and opening sequence of your substation lines so once the shutdown is completed restoration activity is to be carried out which means uh, normalizing the area where the uh, shutdown has been taken need to be carried out for that we need to ensure that the local or manual earthing need to be removed first because the earth switch which is uh, done which is carried out we can able to see in the bcu or uh, hmi sessions but the local earthing or manually where the earthing we have done for our uh, safety purpose that we need to physically ensure that uh, the local earthing is been removed or not then earth switch should be opened proper earthing uh, then maintenance of your uh, earth switch first uh, for mainly the maintenance in the sense we need to carry out some testings in order to ensure that the male and female contacts are making properly or not so for that contact resistance measurement need to be carried out for your earth switches then tightness of your alignment need to be done because the uh, the operating due to the operating of your earth switch the rotating shafts may get damaged or any looseness can be happened so in order to uh, ensure uh, in order to overcome this problem we are going to do the tightness also for the earth switches so this is all the basics overviews of your earth switch in a substation hope you understand i think so see you in next video have a nice day nandri vanakkam